Hi everyone, I'm back again with another journal. This one is a zodiac themed journal, one of my favorite themes. So this is a hardcover journal. It is eight and three quarters by five and three quarters. It is made with the hardboard and it's fabric covered. So on the front here, I have um, one of the calico collage images. I've done a little bit of collaging with my watercolor paper, stain paper. I was in, I'm always inspired by Dolly at Gypsy Rose Papery on how she collages the front of her journals. So I've done that with this one. I've also done this little painted corners on the front and back. I just love the little bit of retro effect that it gives it. And I'm really, really pleased with how, how nice and you know durable it makes the edges of your book. Um, nice, clean, fresh look without the clunky metal bits on there. So this has a two and a half inch spine and it comes with a little charm here of Saturn. Now, right now I have a Gemini symbol on here, a little charm with a Gemini on it, because that's my sign. I just put that one on there. This obviously comes off, but when whoever wants to purchase this, I do have um, a charm for every sign. You just have to let me know what sign you are and I will put whatever sign you are on there. Also, I have, I've made a bunch of shaker tags. This is what one looks like. This is, we've got Aries here. And I've just added some sorry soap, but I've got them all made for each one of the sign. I just have to add the fabric on the top. So whatever sign of whoever purchases it, I will be including a nice big jumble tag. This is all original watercolor paper and it's all stitched and it's got the little shaker window in it. Oops. Just a little fun. Okay, so inside we have, um, I've been making these little shaker stars. This one here has got lots of like blacks and blues and silvers. This book has a lot of those colors in it. So here is the front and back inside covers are made with my original watercolor paper. It's all ink stained and I've included lots of, um, this journal is really chunky and it's in, got lots of like vintage book pages, original stuff, and plus some, uh, plus quite a bit of digital. So here's a digital from Calico Collage. It's also in the same kit as the girl on the front here. This one's got the zodiac symbols on it. Okay, so just tuck that back in there. Okay, so we have um, vintage ledger paper. This is a lined page by um, Scatty Art. I will list below all the digitals, but I'll try and remember them as I go along here. This is my ink stain paper. Here's, uh, I've got scrapbook paper with lots of constellations and the zodiac symbols on it. Here is some vintage paper with the zodiac and the little dipper, big dipper. Okay, and I've used a kit by Leanna Scrap and it has, it features, I feature all of the zodiac symbols in in the whole book it's not in order it's just they're all randomly put in so that one was Virgo here's Capricorn and this is uh, Among the Stars by Calico Collage I've used um, Digital Curio I believe so and here's some um, vintage book page I've got this moon I cut out from some scrapbook paper and on the back it's a little pocket with a moon sticker and all of these papers are my ink stained paper. There's a flash card and this was cut out from a, um, an old book as well. And if you've seen my previous videos, Celestial Journals, you'll know I put these little, I've been using my stamps to make little tickets and this is that Tim Holtz, um, you know, little, little ladder for all your little tiny things. And here is a, it's got all the zodiac symbols on it. It's an old playing card. The little moon paper clip there. And then we have another pocket here. This has more book pages. This has Saturn on it. And I've tried to feature a little bit of the planetary um, correspondence to each sign. So I've added, you know, little things. Um, about some of the other planets that go with each sign as well. So there is a little bead charm there. 
It's just some book page about Zodiac. This is a jumbo tag. I've used my ink stained paper on the back and I did a, I used my die cut there so that it had a little window. There's some more vintage ledger, old book pages. This is an image from the Graphics Fairy Premium Membership. And here's some of my little washi stickers. You'll see them throughout with a lot of the, they'll either have, you know, uh, planet symbols or zodiac signs. So more vintage book page. Then we have Gemini, which is me, Aries. So like I said, if, uh, if I know what sign, whoever purchases it, they would, I would stick a tag in there. Not this one, but whichever one you wanted. <laughs> There's some more. And I've added this um, grid paper for, it's nice to have a little bullet journal area too. So it gives you a combination. I love the combination of lots of different um, styles of paper and different writing areas. Now this is, um, was from a scrapbook paper I had. So it's got Leo on both sides there. Um, now these are, full pages and I've just shrunk them down to make journal cards instead of the full pages because I found them after I had bound this. So these are Leanna scrap. I'll be sure to leave a link, like I said, to all the digitals. I'll be using signs of the zodiac. Um, here's a tuck spot. I used my die cuts there. And we've got Venus and some constellations. I love this scrapbook paper with all the signs on it. This is uh, Among the Stars. And we've got Pisces. And we've got a Moon Maiden there, journal card. And we've got Sagittarius, uh, Taurus, and Capricorn. Some lime paper. We've got like some of that vintage sky map. Love how this page turned out. It matched this page really well. It's got some golds and oranges and blues on it. And here's a, if you've seen my previous videos, I've got a few of these, the moon and the star um, tarot cards, but I've made them into shakers and it's all sewn around. Another little pin there. I always add this digital of one of my watercolor papers. I just make it into an envelope. So it's always nice to have Extra little envelopes in your journal. There's some shimmer there. Uh, this is Mercury, I believe. Yes, these are these uh, the NASA postcard collection that I have. There's a nice little tuck spot of Cancer and some vintage book pages. Just love all these the greens and the oranges here. It looks so pretty. We've got Taurus again and Sag, and a little extra notepad here from the ink paper. Some more washi stickers. There's more zodiac symbols there. And this is from the journal Emporium. That's Lori Weber's um, kit. I've snuck in a few of her digitals in there. And this is Amy Joy Studios. This is Libra little tuck spot there. This, this page here has a nice shimmer to it as well. A little digital curio. Some more bullet journaling. This is an old book on the night sky. So pretty. Aquarius. Here's another shaker, tarot card shaker there of the star and the moon. Uh, that's Aquarius, and the moon is Cancer, I believe. Correspondence, and then there's Gemini. Well, I'll put a sticker there, too. Another little bead. This little bead reminded me of the moon. This is an old uh, postcard from 1990, and these are... I don't know whether they're Greek or... It's got a language on the back that I don't understand. More vintage book page. I had a lot of washi tape, so I did a little decorating as well with some planets and stars. It's a little moon guy. This is a pocket here. I've used another one of Calico Collage's little tags.
tags here. I've just sewed a little bit of fabric on there. You can never have enough tuck spots. I love how this orange and blues match this paper really well. And we have some more book pages in a pocket here. We've got Taurus. And we've got the Zodiac Wheel. I've used a little diamond brad there. And on the back, I've just added a couple little scraps from this Constellation uh, scrapbook paper that I had. And I did some stenciling. All right, so we got a shiny section here. This is a nice big pocket. I made these from the policy envelopes. I love this page. I, I wasn't even sure I was going to give this page up. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. I just love all the purples. I love how it turned out. It's so gorgeous. There's another image. This is Scatty Art. This is also from the same kit. I just backed it. That's a pretty little journal card there with another little beaded paper clip. All my little paper clips I've added in here are all like shiny iridescent too, so they match nice with the, the colors. Oh, I love that paper. Here we got Saturn Galaxy, it says. Then we got a little Scorpio section here. That was some little book page there. And Scorpio is the Mars and Pluto, I believe. And there's Pluto. Pluto. I love how this page turned out too. It looks like moons. This is just a little piece of watercolor scrap and I just cut the star out. We've got Aries and Mars. The planet um, information is all on the, the, the page here. And uh, Aries is, has Mars correspondence. I love how this is the Leo with the black page next to it. It's so gorgeous. There. You can use a white pen on that. There's another little tuck spot. Um, here I made this, um, these were tags, so I used a die cut to make these, but then I just put my little star brad on there and there's, I've just used my stamps to stamp out every one of the signs. And then I just stuck it on there. This is just a little tuck spot here, book page, vintage book page. Love how this page turned out. And it looks, I didn't even try, but it matches this uh, Digital of Lori's really well. It looks like they were stuck together, the same colors. Love it. It's a lot of paper in here. There's a tuck, tuck spot with a old book page too, and it's got the chart, night sky chart. I've got a little Venus there. Okay, then we have Sagittarius. And Aquarius. Libra. And we have Neptune. We have Neptune, the blue Neptune. Another little journaling card there. And then we've got some, I had some vintage book page of Virgo. And then there's the little elemental card there. Oh, I should take this out so you can see the back. And this is uh, original ink stained paper as well. Love that blue swirl in there. All right, so there's a stitched pocket on there as well. Okay, and that's another big chunky one. This is listed in my shop already. And like I said, if you're interested in this, let, be sure to let me know what sign you are. I'll be back. I have a lot of celestial stuff still to come. I have enough journals to probably um, put something, uh, a couple of journals up every week. So I'm a little obsessed with the celestial type theme right now. But I, I love it. And uh, let me know what you guys think. And I will be back again soon. Take care, guys.